Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to the legend of Vox Machina. One of the darkest, funniest, weirdest shows I have ever seen. Yeah, the end of the last episode, the, I think it's called The Sun Tree. Man, that, that, that got dark. It got real dark, real goddamn quick. Just casually killing kids, you know? Because why not? They're clearly, they're just fodder for your storytelling. So, yeah, just kill them off. Yeah, I was, um, I've done, like, a lot of research. I've actually been watching Critical Role's first campaign, like, their actual D&D one. Because, like, obviously, I mentioned in the last one that uh, me and our friends, like, we, we wanted to start, um, like, having, like, a little go at D&D and, you know, give it a little try. And uh, I got a lot of comments of <laughs> people talking about how they would love to see me play D&D and they'd, like obviously be there to like to help and there are people who've been dms or gms i can't remember if it's dm or gm of, of dungeons and dragons since like the 70s i've got i had like two or three comments of people being like yeah yeah i've been playing since the 70s and here i am which is absolutely nuts to think about yeah i was kind of worried because not that i really wanted to do the whole dm role i was more so wanting to play the actual game but when I was watching, um, oh God, I can't remember his name. The the guy who does the the character, the world building for um, for Critical Role. His name is on the tip of my tongue, and I can't think what it is. But yeah, I watched his video, and the way he was like, describing everything and the story, and I was like, my God, if I have to try do something to this level. Oh, it's Chris Mercer, Matt Mercer. I think it's Matt Mercer. Like, I'm sure it's called the Matt Mercer effect, where like people expect this level of role playing and in world building, and I was like, I'm, I'm doomed if I if people are expecting me to, <laughs> to be that detailed. So thank God I'm not the only one on that board. But yeah, um, we've uh, we've we've been looking into it and we've been trying to do stuff. I've been on D and D Beyond, I think it's called, and I've like created a character and stuff. I made a um a half elf. Uh, wizard because mages and wizards and magic that's always been my thing uh, i absolutely love it i'm not into the whole um swords and daggers and stuff like that i prefer magic always been the coolest thing ever but um yeah i didn't realize how detailed <laughs> things get in just creating a character there, there's, there's so much information just packed into this one thing where like i'm picking like a race and then like explaining the race and, and like what they do and their like racial abilities and their like passive abilities and then it's like I, I picked a, a half elf so then it was like alright so you get like plus one stat in uh, intellect I think it was intelligence whatever it is but then I have to pick two for myself so then I had to research what all of the different ones are in what's best to go for a wizard and then it was like pick your race and then each race uh sorry pick your class then each class had like this abundance of information that i had to try and digest because i was stuck between a sorcerer and a wizard because i was like those are the two and i, I did look at warlock as well but i was like i prefer like wizard kind of stuff then I, I was looking into that and then i had to look at like what spells they get and all the information and what happens to each level and my good god <laughs> I understand why people get into this game because there's so much information. I don't think you can really get bored because every story can be different and take any kind of turn. So yeah, we uh, I I managed to kind of get through. I'm still creating it currently, but uh, we obviously we wanted to try and do like a Naruto one. Because we know the Naruto world really, 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 really well. So we it, it would let we use the D&D &D rules, but just with Naruto instead. So then we could get a, a feel for it and then go into, into actually doing a proper campaign. But yeah, so we're getting there. We're getting there. We're, we're I think I've got my character. I think uh, my other friend has his character. I don't think all of them have them, but... Like I said, we're, we're getting there. Hopefully, we'll, we'll we'll manage to get it sorted at some point. But yes, we um we left off at that incredibly dark moment. So uh, let's see what Percy and the gang are about to do. Oh yeah, let's go. All right, where are we at? Western faction was wiped out by giants. 
Then we need to make our next move count. Is the able body definitely Scottish? Bryn, thank the dawn, father, you're alive. What news do you bring? The Briarwoods have moved the Kestrel. She's with Professor Anders. Anders? She'll be hard to extract. Oh, what is it now? They have us. Oh, it's that giant creature from the last episode. Oh, it's a zombie. Oh, they're so fucked. Dude, this show is freaking crazy, man. Oh my god. You're a tenacious little tick, Archibald. <laughs> Gonna have fun burning you off my balls. Like an STD. Am I right, boys? I don't have syphilis. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Uh, I'm just, I'll, I'll skip this in now. Oh, God. This is why I shouldn't make videos. Fuck me. Ah, oh, you darker. The crow's eating at them. We, we should cut them down. No. The sun tree's obviously being watched. So it is the sun tree. Quickly, this way. Are you crazy? Out of the streets. Hide. <laughs> um Yeah. That thing's definitely getting closer. What is that like big daddy zombie? You're part giant. Can you vouch for us? Oh, what, because we all fucking know each other? <laughs> yeah, kinda. <gasps> Why do you wear this? Are you part of the resistance? Uh, sorry, I, I don't follow. Oh, it's his fa my his sister. Maybe the resistance is using it. We're not with them, but we do share an enemy. Sister's alive. I'm telling you now. Stone is worse off than I expected. She's the leader of the resistance. Perhaps we can be of use to each other. Probably not. <laughs> Probably males off. still alive. Why do you want to know? If you want change here, Yenin is the only one who can help bring it. Yenin? Friends. I is that her? Suffered. My heart weeps and my back... Oh, wait, no, he mentioned, I think, in the last episode. But anger makes us reckless. Violence doesn't burn away the clouds. It only makes more smoke. Have faith and wait for a sign. A new dawn is coming, friends. Oh, and yes, in the form of Vox Machina. Together. <laughs> Take care, young one. It's Percy. Good yeah. Night, strangers. The boys. We don't see many new faces these days. Keeper Yenin, tell me. What do the Briarwoods make of your sermons? They don't attend my services, but their pale guard tolerate me for now. You truly believe the Dawnfather will send a sign? Shh. That name is forbidden. Mm -hmm. It's you. Oh, but you're not the same. Little Percival. What have you become? I am what they made me. What matters is that you're back. I'm not back. I'm only here for one thing. Then you want what the people want. A trusted Dorolo can lead them to freedom. They'll listen to the rightful heir. Ooh. What I need to do requires discretion. Groups can be messy. But you're leading this group. <laughs> no offense, Percy, but you're a titty bit too little to lead. Wait, we have a <laughs> height requirement? Uh, obviously. Well, I, I Six foot five. What? <laughs> <laughs> again. Follow me.
Does that thing just wander around the village non-stop until it just sees someone and kills them? We're clear. The guy's brave. I mean, he just sits there. Hey, I'm a huge fan of taverns. Well, this could easily die. Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> An old resistance hideout. We can speak freely here. Wait. No, no, God, no. What is this hell? Thanks to the Briar Woods, all our resources are dwindling, including ale. I will fucking murder everyone! <laughs> you preach passive. Dude, calm down, man. <laughs> Trust me. I want the Briar Woods gone. Not that serious. But I've seen uprisings fail. And if you charge up to that castle, you'll be slaughtered. No. The only way to win is if the resistance is strong enough. And the resistance isn't strong enough because their leader has been captured. Ah, there it is. He's set to be hanged tomorrow. Oh, it's a he. Percy. It's Archibald Desnay. Oh. Archie. But how? We... We grew up together. His father worked in the kitchen. We'd raise hell all over the castle. One time, Birds of the Sundry. Yeah, can Rose you like connect to them? Even formed hey, let's, you are a druid. Brother. You're telling me that Hellion is a resistance leader. You're not the only one who has changed, Percival. Can you hear me? I'm Keyleth of the Ashari. You can't take the Briar Woods alone. Free Archie, and the resistance will follow. You're playing on my emotions, and I can't say I blame you. We'd be starting an uprising. And this town could use some hope. It's certainly not the worst idea we've had. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on, Grog, what is that? Oh, I could get a beret. We'd need a lot of luck. What you need is faith. At the moment, our holy person is elsewhere. Yeah, she's on her own little adventure. Hear me. Please. Hear me. Oh. It's so bright, even my camera had to readjust. Did she even get cursed? No curse. Or does she just not believe anymore? Just got no faith. Whatever is blocking you is inside of you. But you're saying it's not a curse? It's me? Just saying. Humpty Dumpty. You got bald. The idea of you mangy lot thinking you're heroes is some grand story. Gah. There's no room for also, heroes in Just while I'm on the uh, subject of Humpty Dumpty, has anyone ever realized, I'm sure you probably have, during that song of Humpty Dumpty, not one time has it ever mentioned that Humpty Dumpty was an egg? Dark ass twist on a kid's nursery rhyme. a mess. We know all about your spy, the Kestrel. <laughs> now, tell me where I can find the rest. Isn't a Kestrel the a magical creature mess. from Harry Potter? <laughs> if you won't take me seriously, meet the Duke. My God, he's like Grog. I do hope you and I can engage in a stimulating conversation. Because you'll find the alternative to be most disagreeable. Oh, God, God! Yenon's oh. Archie is. Um, Grog, give me that. He's being held here. 
Okay, so here's my idea how to bust Archie out. I'll speak to the local animals. They'll fetch the jailer's keys mm. and free our friends. Ah, so basic plan. I like it. This is a job for Stanley the Revolutionary. My pitch? I infiltrate the prison with all these potions I found. I don't know what they do yet, but let's assume they make me a... Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. <laughs> you think too much. All we're gonna do is... Kill everyone and leave. Uh, what about Archie? Genius. Right. Yeah, we kill him too. <laughs> hmm. Those were bad ideas and you should all feel bad. I don't know. Scanlan's solar mission sounds interesting. This failure would be spectacular. Okay, no elaborate <laughs> plans. Get in, get out. Strike like a well-thrown dagger. I can get behind that. But if we're going to get Archie out of that prison, we need to know exactly where they're holding him. See, Vax is literally a, a rogue. Like an assassin. Surely can use the shadows pretty well. I shan't waste your time, as I have but the one question. Where is Fox Machina? Oh no! Low battery. What's up, Fox Machina? <laughs> oh, good God! He's taking no prisoners. Well, that's a lie. He actually is. Oh, mate! If I wanted him dead, I would have got a giant to stomp his head. Breaking an individual takes time, Stone. I've only just begun. Send for me when this one wakes. Man, that ear thing, man, grossed me out. I've had my ear pulled before when I was younger. Not a nice feeling. East Wing, second floor. Uh, what is that thing? This? No. Oh. Nothing but bad news. Mm <laughs> hmm. Okay, this is how it's going. Ah, uh, that's what I need. It'll be easier to avoid capture if we split into two teams. Bag that's bigger on the inside. Team and backdoor team. You know, Skandar's all about the backdoor, but <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that joke. Ever worked? Uh, since shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> and Archie's rebels will keep a lookout while we get him out of there. I hope the back door team doesn't get there first. <laughs> oh my. Damn. I've almost got shit. Oh wait, I've got enough fuck shit. Fuck. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Fucking doors. Come on. Oh my god, it's just a bit. Oh, sorry, hold on. Someone, I think, had mentioned in the comments as well something about doors. And my friend kept saying, have you seen the door part yet? And I was like, no, I don't think so. This must be it. This must be the episode that he's on about fucking doors. <laughs> huh? Keep moving. We can't just leave them. Everyone's getting out early for bad behavior. Are they gonna do this whole thing and the door's just gonna be open I'm going to find a window. If this door's open the entire time or something. <laughs> To be watching the front door. We came for a fight. Halt! Don't move! Yeah, and you sure found one. But here's your chance. We found them! <laughs> Don't you get us caught, I can't get No! No! <laughs> <laughs> I fell out of the window. <laughs> God damn it, Percy. What do we do now? You had one job. Sorry, I'm just, uh... No, I didn't want it to... S oh, we're back. Sorry about that. I tried to put it in HD so and it <laughs> reset the entire thing. Oh, that's dirty. Is that piss? 
<laughs> That's just nasty, though. Ugh. Oh, thank the gods. Wait, what's this crowd? Yeah, we have a few extras right now. Why are you covered in piss? Picked it up along the way. <laughs> It's a long story, including a door and a window and the fact the person fell out of it. It's all his fault, really. Archie. Archibald. Where is he? Vax, get him out of there. Uh, right. Okay, here we go. That I'm telling you, that back door was cursed. <laughs> Shit. Is this the afterlife? Not dead yet, friend. All right. Is this all gonna go awry real quick? Is that Humpty Dumpty again? I'll give you this, girlie. You'll at least die together. Oh my god, Scanlan! No, don't do it. Do we have to die? Huh? <laughs> What's a guy got to do to get some uh -oh. here? He should use his magic. <laughs> nice. <laughs> don't just stand there. Get him. <laughs> Woo. Oh, he's a nice fella. Go on, get him out of here. Sorry, it's super intense right now. I don't want anybody to die. She gonna die? Oh no! Go on, Kayla, fuck him up! Yes! That's not fucking him up, that was the complete opposite. Oh man, I feel bad for her. Fun's over. Where's our exit? Not this way. There are guards everywhere. Percy, let me go. What are you doing? Just like the old days, creating a diversion while you get away. You fucking dormers! <laughs> 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 Check this out. Huh, not quite there, Scanlan. I was gonna say, what did he, he didn't even do anything really? Fucking <laughs> 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 go in there, Percy. Seal the doors. Stump them. Yeah. Chivalrous. Wait, where's Percy? Percy? He is, he's went after them, any. He? We'll get him. The rest of you hold this hallway. Hurry, brother. <laughs> oh, Percy, go on. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> What's with him though? What is he? <laughs> what are you supposed to be, freak? I am vengeance for the Dororos. <laughs> the Dororos. Now that takes me back. 
Some folks you kill because you're ordered to. Them, I killed because I wanted to. Let me say, you were the one I was least looking forward to. Fuck off. Oh, dude, you are fucked. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, you didn't even torture the guy. Come on. Oh, okay, no, fine. That's it. I jumped the gun a little. this entire mission and you point that thing at me and for what for what stonefell helped slaughter them and laughed while it happened i am the sole surviving dorolo i will have my vengeance all right percy you need to simmer down but percy, 10 notches not the last dorolo what your sister cassandra she lives I fucking knew it. Boy, sorry we're late. We had a thing. Come on, toss the booze. What the hell is Percy though? Just do it. Is it like a spell, maybe? Like, we gotta see the name went off once he killed uh, Stonefell. So is it some sort of spell? Is he just a beast? I have a sister. Cassandra. Oh, only half of her hair went white. I'm sure you've heard about their brother. Well, like a, a smidget, fringe. The question is, why is she with the Briarwoods? Have they indoctrinated her into some sort of weird cult thing? I don't know. Alright, as I suspected, she is alive. I had a feeling that your sister was going to be alive. There is a rule in a show that I have, but if you do not see them die, they probably are not dead. Probably being, you know, the, the correct term to use, because there are times where I'm, I, I, I'm like, nah, I am unconvinced that they're dead. There's no way they're dead. I go through like the entire show, or, like movie or whatever, and I'm just sat there at the end, like. So they're dead. So they were dead the entire time. Well, fuck my life. But um, yeah, I had a feeling that she wasn't dead. Thank God I was correct. I don't know how that's gonna go since I just said she's kind of with the Briarwoods right now, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense since they kill. Unless no, 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 no. I was gonna say unless she didn't know, but then again, she was running away with Percy. When she got shot, so she definitely knows what happened. Is she trying to protect the village by? You know, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I mean, I'll find out soon enough. But yeah, I, I like to speculate before I just go in and watch it. And Percy with the with the the orange eyes, the black and orange eyes. What is that all about? Because I thought he was a werewolf. I was I was so convinced of myself that he was a werewolf. Because it just would have made sense. They're vampires. If he was a werewolf, it would have been so cool. But, uh, yeah. Apparently, I was miles off. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what he is at some point. I'm sure it'll probably be the end of this campaign or the end of the series. But I'm wondering if this was done just for the show, or if in the campaign he's also like that, like in the actual DD campaign. Because, uh, if so, I'm wondering if, like, the, the guy that plays Percy, if he knew what he was but none of the rest of them knew and then like Matt sort of reveals it or he reveals it at some point that'd be kind of cool yeah I'm not sure but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video like I said we're trying to sort out this day and day thing as soon as possible um we're, we're, we're getting there slowly but surely it's it's not exactly a game you can just thrust yourself into there's <laughs> there's a lot of information needed beforehand yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It does help massively, and I do massively appreciate it. Thank you, and goodbye. Bit of an abrupt ending. <laughs>
I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.